Alcohol withdrawal is a bitch. Maybe you're suffering from headaches or you can't sleep or you really want to drink and you're stressed out about it. We're going to come up with some ways to uh, how you can deal with alcohol withdrawal. First, you might want to grab my free book, The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, How to Reduce or Quit Alcohol. There's a little link in my uh, about section down below and there's a little annotation here as well. You can click completely free book just to help you stay quit from alcohol. Um, so we're going to go over a few supplements that I know uh, have been um, proven to help when you're going through alcohol withdrawal. Uh, I went through this myself. I was a social drinker for many years and in 2010 I took a 30 day no alcohol challenge just to see how I would feel. And in the first 10 days I kind of like my sleep wasn't that good and I was a bit irritable because you know I'd build up this, this tolerance to alcohol and all of a sudden I'm going like 7, 10 days without drinking. It's like a shock to the system, right? Um, but I'll tell you, the good news is, is that after about 10 days, everything started to just get better. I slept better, I lost weight, my skin improved, I felt healthier and so it does pass, okay? But while you're going through that, a couple of things to, to help you um, that don't involve taking supplements obviously is just going for a walk, breathing, meditating, and I don't mean like having to sit there and you know for an hours on end, even just two minutes, just sitting down and breathing in. And just doing that for two minutes, it's amazing how the headaches and the stress and the anxiety starts to subside. Natural sunlight, great uh, form of, of vitamin D. Uh, walking barefoot on grass, you know, the earth has a magnetic pulse to it. And when you take your shoes off and just walk on the grass or lay on the grass, it's amazing how rejuvenated you feel. So when you're going through that withdrawal, try those natural things first. Um, um, because they can make uh, they can help you uh, a lot. But if you're wanting to take a few supplements to help you, I've got a few things that have proven to work here. And um, I'm the creator of the 30 day no alcohol challenge. And, and these are some of the things that some of my members have taken when they quit alcohol um, to help them with their withdrawals. Okay, so these are proven. So uh, NAC, uh, and by the way, just before I go over this, make sure you do consult with a doctor first. Okay, I'm not a trained professional, I'm not a doctor. I'm just someone who quit alcohol, went through the, the pain and suffering and then created a, a program to help people quit alcohol for 30 days and then I'm, you know, like I said, I'm the author of the book, The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, How to Reduce or Quit Alcohol. So I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, so take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, this is what's worked for me, but please consult a doctor, okay? So NAC uh, here, uh, it helps the brain when it's going through withdrawal. Uh, and several human studies have found that it reduces the desire for alcohol um, for, yeah, yeah, okay, so NAC. Lithium orotate uh, gives you lots of healthy brain minerals. About 25 grams of that will give your brain extra nutrition just to help you out when you're going through that alcohol withdrawal. Vitamin C, I've got some here. This is the vitamin C that I take. Um, during alcohol withdrawal, your immune health system uh, is compromised due to added stress. Like when you're not drinking after you have been drinking, you're putting stress on the body because it wants that drug, right? Alcohol is a poison. Um, and the University of Michigan Health System suggests that if you supplement with vitamin C to rid the body of excess alcohol, then that helps with the withdrawal symptoms, okay? <clears throat> I'm just reading my notes here that I typed out before I uh, started recording this. Uh, B vitamins are super important. Let me just change the camera down here. B vitamins, um, uh, B1, uh, alcoholics or people who drink a lot are uh, deficient in this vitamin because it gets used up breaking down alcohol. Uh, and, and sugars and carbo, uh, carbohydrates. So if you take any, any one of the B vitamins, that's really gonna help you. Uh, niacin uh, is one of those ones, B3. This is niacin right here. This is a brand that I've used in the past. Um, high doses of that is helpful in reducing alcohol cravings, stabilizing your mood. But just, just be conscious of niacin because it does cause a little bit of flushing. We've had some people in the 30 day no alcohol challenge who've taken it and they're like, whoa, my face got really warm and hot. So it does cause some flushing, but you know it's working if you feel that way, but just be conscious of that. That is one little, I guess you could call it a side effect. Uh, B6 and B9 in higher dose, doses reduces alcohol cravings and uh, anxious tension. Um, vitamin A helps to correct deficient, deficiencies during withdrawal. Um, let's just go down here. Milk thistle is really good as well. Uh, kudzu, kudzu is an interesting one. A medical, uh, a Harvard study rather, uh, found that uh, kudzu decreased the desire to consume alcohol uh, within 90 minutes of taking it, apparently. Um, 
And then we've got, uh, I hope I'm going to pronounce this correctly. It's called Silmarin. I don't think I got that right, to be honest. But it improves blood sugar and liver function, um, both of which may be impaired after long-term alcohol abuse. L-glutathione is a great liver detoxifier, um, which is, again, really good and helps you with your withdrawals. Uh, and any of those supplements is certainly going to help you. Um, you don't need to take supplements. Like you don't need to. You can just write it out and just know that any uh, withdrawal symptoms that you're going through are temporary. Trust me when I say, this is from first-hand experience, the, pos the pros of not drinking far, far outweigh any temporary illusionary pleasures that you get from drinking alcohol. I know, I haven't touched a drop of alcohol since 2010. Like I said, I was a social drinker. I enjoyed it. I got drunk on the weekends sometimes. I, I was never an alcoholic, but I was just a good, solid social drinker. But as soon as I quit, everything changed. I lost weight, my skin improved, I slept better, I felt amazing, the quality of my relationships improved, and I just feel amazing. So, so there you go. I hope that helps you deal with alcohol withdrawal symptoms. Uh, if you want to grab my free book, it's called The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, How to Reduce or Quit Alcohol. Again, there's a link down below in the About section, and there's a link right here. Grab that free book and uh, good luck in your uh, lifestyle of either reducing alcohol or quitting alcohol entirely. I'll catch you on the next one. Are you asking yourself right now, am I an alcoholic? Maybe you drank too much over the weekend. Maybe you've said the wrong thing. Maybe you're drinking a lot and you go, 